right, lads. Let's watch some Josh. Let's game it out. Let's game it out. We're playing Supermarket Simulator today. A game with a whole lot of people playing it and a whole lot of reviews, which means this game must be absolutely 100% top tier and mm -hmm. not remotely a jank fest. What mm -hmm. I'm trying to say is I'm sure it's going to be quite the journey. Hey, speaking of journeys, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AFK Journey, Whoa, which just so came out. Smooth. Free to play and available on Yippee. iOS, Android, and PC. AFK Journey is done by the same team that made the super popular AFK Arena. But it's also a whole lot different. Arena. It's not an idle game. It's an ethereal fantasy RPG with distinct fantasy visuals, RPG? deep gameplay mechanics, and tons of no fun way. stuff to do. So basically, your AFK journey begins right here as you take on the role of Merlin and get to collecting heroes across Merlin. six factions to create a big battle-ready team to do your tactical bidding. And you'll be doing a bunch of that on a hex battle map, giving you all kinds of strategic customization. There's also a huge world out there for you to explore. <laughs> From the Golden Weed Shia to the Vaduso Mountains. And it all takes place on big, diverse maps Mountains. with tons of puzzles to solve and NPCs to annoy. And there's also this thing called Easy AFK. Basically, resources grow while you sleep or eat. What a deal! Nom. And right now, with the game just coming chomp, out, chomp, AFK clip, Journey clomp, is giving away resources. 40 heroes for free. And you'll receive over 200 free pulls by progressing through the game and completing events like a seven-day login. And if that wasn't enough, you can also use code AFKJourneyLGIO. Whoa to get 200 diamonds clop, clop, and 20,000 gold AFK. coins for free. So if this sounds good to you, there's a linky in the description to get you started. And so here we are in front of our brand new supermarket in the middle of our cute little neighborhood. Look at this. We have all kinds of foot traffic, people just swaggering their way to work. And we can tell as we follow oh, this guy that we are in the United right. States of America. As you can clearly tell by this very <laughs> American license plate. Wait, yep. maybe that was just that one car. Because we can see here that this one's from Iowa the and this one's American from California. Fresh. What an inclusive neighborhood. You can even have the same license plate as someone else. Anyway, the neighborhood is about what you'd expect. And by that, I mean it has a bunch of buildings with nothing going on. NPCs just wandering around, it living their cost. lives of doing nothing. But most importantly, we're in a neighborhood that we cannot escape. Like, everything might look and feel very peaceful. Ow! But as you can see, there's something sinister going on underneath. The whole neighborhood <laughs> is just one giant loop. The good news about this, though, is it means you're the only supermarket in town. So let's go ahead and Yippee! begin our supermarket empire. Come Clearly from the me. ground floor. Yo, you looking dapper. Mr. Beast. How's it going, man? Hi, my name's Hugh Montgomery. I'm with the IRS. <laughs> Fuck. Floor, because look at these slim pickings. So it looks like we've got two shelves, as well as a register, a door that I'm not even allowed to get into yet, and a computer the awkwardly door. in the corner. And something tells me this is going to be the brains of our <gasps> no operation. Tackles. On account of the tutorial telling us to order goods using the computer. Well, don't mind if I do. But first, let's go to the bank. Oh, good, and we can take out a loan straight away. Let's use this slider here to turn that loan term length into 25 days, Ooh. because I want to take as long as possible to pay it back. Okay, and now instead of $50, we have $800 to work with. It's like free See? money. And now let's head it's on over so to the market, easier. which is our one-stop shop to buying goods for our store. Look at this. We've got all the essentials. Carbs, carbs, and more carbs. And oil for your daily hydration <laughs> needs. We're going to start with flour because it's the Yippee! cheapest to buy. And I get the feeling that it doesn't really matter what we buy. I'm pretty sure customers are going to be interested anyway. Okay, all that stuff is ordered. I guess all we need to do now is wait for it to arrive. Oh, Whoa. wait, there it is. What the hell even happened out here? I mean, it was delivered really fast, which is nice. Hang on, let's order <laughs> some more of these. And I'd love to order more than 10 at a time, but it turns out 10 is the max. Okay, order's in. Quickly, outside! Uh Thank God my groceries aren't very delicate. Well, I guess right <laughs> off, we know where that loan money is going to. It's time to buy as many of these as we can so that we can just have more boxes Bonk. all the time. And we'll order another 10. Looking good. Watch out, car. Bonk. Oh, of course, they don't care. And another. <laughs> and another. You know, I thought the pile would be bigger. It. But whatever, it's still plenty oh, to work with. Right oh, and there? also, I just noticed we also have this room right here, also known as the storage room, that I, let's check. Yep, can't get into. Whatever, that's a problem for I'm later. Right now, we need lucky. to handle the basics. Like picking up some of this flour, ripping open the box, looking at this person and hurling it in their face. Yeah, she's impressed. And then climb over all of this crap, pick up the box, and let's get to shelving. Oh, well, That's that was how easy. You and now the game wants to yes. demonstrate to me that we can throw out the empty boxes. And I threw out that one because the tutorial made me. But it's going to be the only one. Also, we're not <laughs> done filling this up. This looks very sad. We're going to need a lot more flour to fill these shelves. Hang on, I'll do the hard work first of getting our crap in there so we can stock up. And we'll just hurl more of these on the shelves and then more throw this crap flour. in the corner. And rinse and repeat. Watch out, everybody. We're really gaming now. Ah! 
And there we go. It's some hard work, but someone has to do it. And also, this is not the price I want. After all, the market price alone is 371 right now, especially when, how high can this go? That's it? Fine. That's our price now. Hi, my name's Hugh Montgomery. I'm with the IRS. Oh, and I don't expect anyone's gonna pay this, but let's see anyway. And last but not least, we're gonna reposition these shelves a little bit more to our liking. So we're gonna take this one and shove it in the corner somewhere. Yep, just like that. And let's get some of these boxes out of the way so that we can fit this other shelf right next to it. There we go. All of it facing away like it's bashful. Here we go again. Okay, I think we're ready for our <laughs> grand opening. Crap in the street, crap in our store. I've never been more ready. And now let's wait for our first customer. Ma'am, what do you think? Do you want to come in? Whoa. Oh boy, here we go. Flowers too expensive. How do you even know? You didn't even look at the prices. You just made assumptions. <laughs> Women. You'll be back, or I bet someone that looks just like you. Okay, yeah, I think it's safe to say that the flower is probably too expensive. Fine, let me crawl back here and see if I can change it. Pardon me, boxes. Let's lower it to a much more modest $5. Hello, sir. Would you like to buy some flour? Whoa. Well, you know, I'm not really sure what I expected, except that I can see that there's a rush on flour now. Ooh, going for the lower shelf between that guy's legs? I get it. You're a discerning flower connoisseur. You know where the good stuff is. And you all look like you're late for the same wedding or something, so let's go ahead and get you handled. Okay, let me ring this up, and it's gonna be five. Beep, beep. Oh, well, that's probably a little too much cash, but okay. No, really? You only gave Don't me ten dollars? It. it sure felt like more. Anyway, that means your change is five dollars. Hold, please, while I give you your change. In pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, <laughs> Boy, howdy, no. am I pleased that you're allowed to do this. And just to help all you non-Americans out there, five dollars in pennies is 500 pennies. 500 glorious wow. pennies and not a guessed. single cent more. Okay, sir, here's your change. Don't spend it all in one place, okay? And also, while we were getting this guy's change, looks like we have quite the line forming. Hey, you, get out of here. You're holding flower up the line. Popular. Look at this. Holy we're already shit. the hottest I destination for all your flower howdy. needs. Goodness. Just clip through all these people. Use your telekinesis to pull it from Bro. the other side. Bro. And then wait for your turn to even get in line. Until then, please help yourself to a little bit of milling around the back of the store for no reason. Don't worry, I'm sure the line will go down eventually. <laughs> oh no, you know what I just realized? In addition to moving the shelves, I can also move this thing. Even if there's people waiting in line. And now they're all like, oh no, what do we do? Don't worry, I'm gonna put it back down. I'm just gonna face it in a weird direction like this. Just because I need to see what you'll do as a result. <laughs> Okay, everybody, find your place in line. Oh, no, were all those people leaving? Oh, no, did we lose they're some customers? Stealing. Nope, no, oh. we did not. They're just waiting in line like they're supposed to. I mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> line starts right there. Makes sense that it would go out here. Hang on, so what happens if I put it, like, up against this wall where nobody can possibly line up behind it? Well, that was a stupid question. Of course he would just go inside the wall. I feel dumb for even asking. But what I really want is for everybody to feel involved. So I'm gonna shove it all the way back here against where all the customers are anyway. Because I want everybody to feel like they're part of the process. Okay, good. No one's even really trying anymore. The thing I love, by the way, is it doesn't look like anyone's willing to leave. Like, they committed to buying this flower and so help me they will. Like, these people walk up here, really contemplate if they want to do this. And then they're like, well, I do need flour. I and I'm no willing choice. to fight the well, mobs shit. to get it. Now, excuse me while I use the flower. Force and grab not one but two sacks of flour. Also, you might notice this text at the bottom that says to finish out the day. That's because we reach 9 p.m., which I guess is closing time. Except not really, because the game lets you just keep playing. I guess it just means if people are walking by, they're not going to choose to come into your store anymore. Unlike you suckers that are stuck here forever. Okay, whatever. Let's let you finally buy your flour. Oh, I see we got a credit card Whoa. customer this time. And this is about as fun as you'd expect. You click on their card and it flies right into the card reader <laughs> as they look down in shame. And then you enter the amount. Here you go, sir. Thank you for your patronage. And then the next sad looking dork shows up and you do it all again. That's right, sir. Don't make eye contact. Just put the credit card on the dresser. And that's pretty much what you do. You ring up groceries and you take their awkward amount of drug money they try to hand you. <laughs> you give them their change in only pennies and then you send them on their way. I like to do something a little bit special. Every time I see this guy in his little bow tie, I move the register so that the next person in line is no longer him. So that he loses his place in line. With my goal being to never ring him up. And anytime he gets to the front of the line. Time to move he the register so once evil, more. Uh-oh, what are we supposed to do? There's two of them. Oh, no. 
Okay, nice try, but I can see right through that disguise. Okay, fine. We'll finally ring up your groceries. One and two and credit cards. Tactics. And then we'll walk away from the machine, take this entire thing, <laughs> fold it back into the box, throw it at that guy, turn and look at our very American light switch and electrical socket, shut off the lights with everybody still inside, and finish the day. Ah, good. The riffraff cleared out. Finally, we can have a nice place again. But of course, let's move around our setup a little bit. This time, we're going to take this and we're going to put it all the way over here. Right nice. Door. And it should be fine because you can actually sneak your way in all the same. And we'll leave the other one there just so people have a reason to come in. And no, I'm not going to buy other stuff. Also, let's lower the price on this and see if we can get more people to come in. There, four whole dollars for all this crap. Can't wait. Okay, ma'am, come on in. We're open for business. You know you need to... Ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am? Excuse me? What? Uh, what are you doing there? How did you... What? She's going straight into storage? Uh, what? If we take a look at this other person, they just clip right through, and they acquire flour through the wall. <laughs> That's not the only way they can do it, though. They can walk right up to the shelf and do the old through-the-shelf <laughs> special, and then wait in line. But not a single one of them can seem to find their way in. I mean, really, though, you can just walk in just like this. I don't see why you're all having such a problem. Something else that's kind of <laughs> curious is there's flour right here. And if this is here, usually it means there's a customer waiting in line, which obviously we don't see. So let's ring it up and see what happens. Hello? Hello? Somebody owes me $8. Oh, I see. It must be whoever's <laughs> arm this belongs to. I got it. Hold still. I'm trying to take your cash. Although hold kind still, of a problem. I can't take that cash because I need to be standing at the register for it. And I can't reach it from here. <laughs> oh, wait. I know what to do. Easy solution. Just move this closer. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I move it on the other side like this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Hello? Well, I'm not seeing anyone. Wait a minute. I think this guy's trying to tell me something. Okay, yeah, I understand now. He's standing over there, and he's trying to hand me his credit card through the wall. Just grab as you it. do. Wow, it's like an accidental drive through And after ringing them up, I just kind of stare at the wall and hope I can figure out if they're paying cash or credit. What a weird way to do business. Ah, <laughs> uh, another successful day of not letting anybody actually into my store. I did also try to set up the register outside, but unfortunately, the game doesn't let you place it. So the best <gasps> I can do is box it up and throw it at people. People. Anyway, whatever. Time for the next day. And then the game shows me that market prices have changed for stuff like I care. The only thing I care <laughs> about is if we can find weirder ways to set up our shop. And thank God we have so much more. Wait a minute. What are you doing out here? You're already in there. This shouldn't even <gasps> be possible. Well, now we gotta try something. Are you telling me that if I pick this thing up and then box it up and then let's say just throw it over in the corner like that, if I then back out and then reload my game... <gasps> oh, well, that's good. Well, now I have a question. What can we do with extra registers? Oh my god. How much do they sell for? <laughs> $250? Welp, I think we can see where this is going. You, back in the box. Get in the corner. And then after a quick reload, look who's back again. Infinite oh, and good news, it works glitch. on shelves too. Pick up, box up, throw outside. And then after a quick reload... Oh boy, do we have some fun work ahead of us. And we could sell all of them. But what if we need them? So let's go ahead and stow them outside for now. So hold, please. Oh no. Holding. Okay, so I've been doing this for quite a while now. Just boxing up some goods, turning around, and throwing them outside. And I oh feel God. like we're making good progress. Like, I feel like we might have enough shelves, and also probably enough registers. It's enough that when we're inside the store, you can barely see the outside. Oops. And it looks pretty impressive from the oh outside, no. too. You can't even see the storefront. And as expected, no one is remotely concerned about this. Who cares if it's in the street? And I'm pretty sure our money problems just are solved. Thrilling. Every Who time cares? we need more money, we can just sell some of this stuff. And we can essentially generate as much money as we need. Talk about all the convenience. And if we head on over here to management, we have a whole bunch of exciting options. For one, we can buy stuff like product licenses. You know how that works, right? Where you're legally not allowed to sell certain things until you pay for a license to sell bottled water water what makes sense fuck? to me and this right now is the only add-on we can actually buy because there's also the requirement of store level three and all of these other ones require even more anywhere from level six to level nine to level 12 all the way down to these product licenses to level 90 what? where the license costs sixty five thousand dollars. all that for alcohol i'll just make my own in the bathtub thank you <laughs>
<laughs> oh, but that's not all. We've got customization. Check out these options. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Whoa, no, but really what we want is sick. growth. If we go on over to here, we can open up extra sections. Again, there's a whole bunch of requirements. So we can only do the first one right now. But hey, it's going <laughs> to let us expand by four by four meters. And I got big plans for that space. Let's see. How are things looking? <laughs> yep, looks good to me. And now that we have all this extra space, we better use it. So first, let's take all these boxes and we'll just kind of force ourselves to the outside and throw these boxes out there. And now that it's just me and our bigger establishment, it's time to set up the shelves. So first, we'll put one as close to the edge as we can get right there. Mm -hmm. And then we'll grab another one, which is going to go right here like this. <laughs> and then another one right about there. I don't know if you can tell what's happening yet, but you will. Because if there's one thing I like oh, in all no. of my games, it's building mazes when you're not supposed to. Like the one I've just built right now. Here, let me demonstrate from the outside, where you can already see all this awfulness. First, you approach the front door, and then you stare at the back side of a shelf uh -huh. before you realize, oh, you can enter from right here. And then after that, it's just about navigating the space. Watch your face. There's a lot of sharp corners everywhere. <laughs> and once everybody's done navigating all this crap, they can finally buy their Josh flower. And then once Wait, no way! What the fuck? No, he's fucking not. No way. Fuck yeah! This shit is wild. We've been watching a video since like forever. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> you hardly have time to watch anything. You need to spend the next 12 hours boxing shelves and cash registers to make infinite money. How do you have time to watch Twitch? <laughs> Go back to boxing shelves. It's one of us for real, for real. It's like purchase this. <laughs> it's off to the register. He's and just so we're clear, the line shows. starts in the back. <laughs> and we're open for business. Ah, our first he guest of the day. Like and the wow, background. they're navigating that like a champ. I was wrong. Something this is fully like navigable. Yourself. I sure am surprised. I genuinely didn't think this would be possible. Thank goodness. Wait, no, buddy, you're going wrong. Wait, the wrong but they're navigating the maze, though. This is amazing. Because they didn't even bother coming hey, inside oh, wait, before. To you, I'm sure you're not. I forgot the line is full here. So why wouldn't you go all the way outside <laughs> and boxes. shove yourself? through all of these boxes so that you can honor not just waiting in line but apparently spooning in line Amazing. i bet you can't wait to oh tell your God, grandkids Chad, about how you up. met and as is our custom we're not going to ring anybody up until our no, store is hit 9 p.m and it's closed stop. for the day i don't think it's much of a problem Yo, they seem the to be subby. enjoying the maze thank you, thank okay it's 9 p.m i don't think we're getting any new customers you can tell these Yo, are why is he so shredded what the seem fuck? to be enjoying the maze okay it's nine look at this dude whoa 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 <laughs> Why is he fucking? What the? Don't he is build? PM. I don't think we're getting any new customers. <laughs> you can tell these are people just waiting because they've got a little baggie in their hands. Let's begin the checkout process. Thanks for waiting. You and your pecs have been so patient. Do you find everything Adam's okay today? Ghost. Just kidding. Stupid I don't care. NPCs. All I care about is your eight dollars. Okay, sir. This is unacceptable. You gave me a fifty on your eight dollar purchase. <laughs> you know what? I don't even want your money. I'm just gonna it's give just... you your fifty back. Take your flower. He's been broken. He didn't give back the pennies. He's he's been broken. Dollar purchase. You know he's what? I don't even want no. your money. I'm just gonna give you your you fifty back. This. Take your flower and be gone from my sight. This one's on me, ma'am. Why are you so sweaty? Have you been playing League of Legends? That's okay. I understand. I'd be sad <laughs> too. And every so main. often, I like to pick up the register and turn it around just to keep people on their toes. See, it's kind of nicer this way. I can see everybody's miserable faces again. <laughs> uh, excuse me, ma'am. You can't be back here. What the hell are you doing? Get out of here, or at least steal the Maybe register. Takes... You're making these twins very uncomfortable. Oh my goodness. And we have the legendary triplets. How come no one's as amazed as I am? And occasionally the game gets confused. For example, I just rang up that bag of flour and yet she's giving me no payment. Oh, forgive Maybe me for not realizing you were the person paying. You know, considering you're not even looking in the right direction. And I'm not even going to ask about your hair. Okay, just uh, give me a credit How card there, ma'am. How could you miss that? Very, Wait, ma'am, you forgot detail. your... Okay, never come mind. On, you're man. complaining about stuff I don't have, so now I don't care. What I was going <laughs> to tell you is you seem to have left your credit card in the reader. <gasps> I couldn't just go ahead and run it again, could oh. I? Uh. No way. And can I do it again? Uh. Uh. Oh my god. Ma'am, you're going to be waiting a while. I have something <laughs> I need to do. Hold, please, while I draw out of this person infinite funds. Jesus fucking Christ, it just keeps going. 
<laughs> okay, I think that might be enough. I think we've extracted enough money from this person's credit card. All eleven million eight hundred sixty-three thousand four hundred fifty dollars. It's so much money at this point. The game isn't even. That finger must be so ripped. It's just like that. It's that finger is like an arm at this point. That finger is a leg at this point. It, it just has like a fucking whole ass leg attached to like his palm. <laughs> reporting cents anymore or that one dollar position anyway the point is i have lots of money now and thank all of you for waiting this entire time in the dark no less let me turn on the lights so i can get a good look at all your faces the faces of heroes especially these four people that i think have been oh jesus right why are the head sizes varying so intensely why why is she so she has seen things and he's just he looks like mark zuckerberg why does he look like some meta voice avatar? <laughs> in line this whole time. You'll they all look psycho. like they've seen things they can't forget. And my way of saying thanks thank is you, I'm going to end you. the day without helping you. You're welcome. Look at these amazing stats. Zero satisfied customers. We had to pay $35 for rent and $8.35 for bills. <laughs> Luckily, we had just a little bit of income. Customers. So I think the day was okay. And coming into the shop the next day, it looks like whoever it was came back for their credit card. So hey, it's basically a victimless crime. <laughs> well, I guess no better time than to try to upgrade everything Light I have available back. to me. Which, as it turns out, isn't actually a lot because I'm still only store level nine. But whatever, sure, give me these things. We did it. We purchased product licenses. It's like DLC, but for our supermarket. More importantly, though, is growth, where we can now unlock sections three and four. I like how doing so means you just look to your left and the store is suddenly just larger than you remember. I mean, not a lot larger, just slightly more for more crap. But I really would like a whole lot more. And for that, we're going to have to get our store level a little higher. That's okay. I'm going to try to fast track this. First, let's take all these shelves, actually put them against the walls. I know it's seems no. weird, but hear me out. No. It's gonna put these all the way against the I wall. Thankfully, we have a lot of extra shelves out here. So for what I'm trying to do, it's a lot <laughs> easier. Okay, there we go. I think this is as many shelves as I could shove in here, provided I still had a checkout stand. And the great thing about this is I can walk through these, but I'm pretty sure all of this is gonna be too narrow for other people to use. And we're actually gonna do something you special. We're fat. gonna order other stuff. <laughs> pretty much everything I have access to right now, we're gonna order. I mean, not everything, because I didn't buy any fridges. And it turns out if you have stuff like orange juice, even though it's been sitting here in the outside in a pile. <laughs> yeah, there's no way we can put that on the shelf. It needs to be placed in a, oh, excuse me, on a fridge. Well, why on don't you cool fridge. down out here then? Wait a minute, I can't do this with soda either? What kind of posh neighborhood is this where I have to put it in a fridge? I did, however, buy I one case of bottled water, out. which, yes, for some reason requires a fridge so that I can just leave it out on the ground so everyone can be like, oh, is that it's water for sale? And I can go, no, it has to be cold. And I'm glad Whoa. I don't plan on doing this. <laughs> for sale and I can go no it has to be <laughs> cold why is your voice so deep oh uh, it's just a little deeper in the morning and I'm glad <laughs> Kratos boy that sounds like me while, be while, while being sick holy shit <laughs> I don't plan on doing this more than a couple of times because my god is this tedious. You can only order 10 cases of anything at a time and since I want to buy an extreme bulk, I buy 10 of one item and then I have to go to the next one and buy 10 more. Heaven help me if I just want to order it all at once. So I think I probably have enough goods now. And I couldn't help but notice that the frame rate's a little less smooth. So that probably bodes well, right? Oh god, here's all my stuff. In an actual moving sea of boxes. I like how I actually- Dude has a fucking NASA PC. The shit he does in games? while still being somewhat able to play it. Th th that's an... My PC is crying because I'm streaming. <laughs> actually can't tell it's any different. Like, like the only reason I know there's more boxes it, than I before is it's like on the outside are the bigger boxes, denoting our shelves. And then on this other side over here, all of the checkout counters. And yeah, then conveniently in the around. middle, here is all of our goods. So let's not go too nuts yet. Let's Zuzu. deal with putting this crap out first, which is going to be its own special kind of pain. Zuzu. Starting with even trying to get in my own <laughs> store. Just let me in. Just wiggle Thank a you. Bit. So the whole reason I'm doing this process is so I can take all these goods and give them the amazing price of zero. And that's how we're going to get more customers happy, which should really help raise our store level. But first, we got to put all this crap out here, which, ugh, so much ugh. work. All this for the price of zero. Okay, shit. Shelves stocked. Never again. Oh God, that took forever. Nice. And my favorite part about Wait, it is passport? you're coming into the store oh, no. what, and you're. What the fuck? <laughs> Grab one. <laughs> Let's try 
going. Let's just grab some passports. No big deal. You, you when I go travel here, I have a blue passport. Nice. <laughs> Never again. That took forever. And my favorite part Buy about it is you're coming passports. into the store and you're like, Papers, oh my please. goodness, so many things. And all well, for free. Papers, the downside, of course, being that nothing is in order. You know, with these things right that. next to the powdered sugar, Black which are right next to the so spaghetti, the which are right next to the coffee. Or maybe you need some gummy <laughs> candy. Don't worry. It's right here next to the olive oil. And of course, oh, if you really want something, you got to shove yourself into these little spaces. Or, well, I do. We all know that they're not going to. We all know they're just going to go straight to the register. But my hope is that now that we're open <laughs> and flower. everything is free, it that it'll raise our store level faster. Time. Fingers crossed. Hello, ma'am. Hopefully you found everything you want today. Zuzu. Wow, I didn't even see you pick up all that stuff. <laughs> and don't forget, everything is free. I get it. Habits are hard Dollar to break. Kinesis. In fact, here, let me take that. Let's see, you gave me a dollar for some reason. And I'm going to give you back a hundred dollars. Surely that'll get me more points, right? Right, 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 right. Can I go to the store? I, I need I need a hundred dollars. Can I can I buy a hundred dollars for a dollar? I would. Where is the store again? <laughs> right? Nope, it got me what five. And as you, you can see, as soon was? as I ring up this person's <laughs> stuff, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this credit card. Hey, by yo, the way, I, that too I gets would, plus five. So what I'm saying is, these people get all these free groceries, and we don't even get extra points or for 100? it. And sometimes we even lose points if we didn't have what they wanted. Why are oh you people so ungrateful? Well, if we're gonna get docs points anyway, how about hey, I take your money I and I get you your change, all the pennies in the register, and I have a lot of them. And twenty dollars in pennies. Here you go. Take your two thousand pennies and get out of here. I'm sorry we didn't have any milk. Anyway, we're not helping <laughs> these people out. We're gonna fold this thing up milk. and tell them to get out with no goods. I don't benefit no so milk. neither do you, but that's okay you. because I noticed something else. You may notice from our status thing here that we I'm actually have a positive amount of points gained. And I realized it wasn't from these jackasses. It was from over here at the computer. I didn't notice at first, but when you buy stuff, that purchase gives you store points plus two per case to be exact. So, so if we were to buy ten cases of flour. It should get us plus 20, right? That seems a lot easier to do. And it looks like it's the same across all items. For example, this flower costs 516 per case. So you would assume this cereal, that's over seven times as much, would give me more store points, right? Nope, but it's all the same. Can I just keep doing this over and over again and graduate another level? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what we're doing, so hold please easy. and let's see how long this will take. Okay, so I've been doing this for a little setup. while now to great success. Look at that, we just, just reached level 27. I couldn't forehead. help but notice, though, that everything is getting kind of <laughs> sluggish. Like when I leave just, the computer and start looking up. around, oh boy, total slideshow. And that's when I remembered. Every time I did this, Hello I was ordering 10 cases of stuff. Ah, and I see they've invaded our store. Well, let's go see what <laughs> oh, the damage God. is, if we can even make it outside. Okay, I'm doing my best to try to get out of here, but it's really hard. You know what might actually be easier is if we go back over to the computer head on over to up, management bro, go to storage where i now have the required store level for everything and hopefully doing so will open up this door finally there we go all sections purchased oh good the door is open please god let me exit through the no, back what? ah fiddlesticks i don't know this might still be better let's give it a shot especially with these bigger boxes that i can pick up and then sell and, and, uh, and okay it looks like i was able to shove my way out nice to see everyone is out here living normal lives normal two frames per second live Lives. God, what a nightmare. And hey, speaking of nightmares, look at all this flour. So I think the problem is I don't know how on earth I'm ever going to get back in there. And I don't think we can go back the way we came. Okay, I have an idea. Let's quit back to the no, menu. Maybe by just continuing from here, the boxes will settle. I'm not so sure that worked. I do appear to be buried in the boxes now, but I was able to oh, shove my way out. Well, I guess that's my it's supermarket like for you. Boxes. The land of free goods that nobody can get to. But hey, why not help yourself to some flour or some registers? So, you know, now that I've spent some time They're with this game. And surely it's registered. explained to me how it rose above to have this many people playing it. <laughs> what a legend. Yeah, it's it's from Let's Game It Out. You should check it out. Get it? I like to womp womp. Only womp womp. And I womp non-stop. While I stroke my cock. <laughs>